What's up guys, Van Zeeben here from Designs by Zephyr. Uh, this is episode 16.8 of Java 2D Game, game Engine Development. Uh, just stuttering a little bit today. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at is cleaning up uh, the login packet a little bit. So if I run up a instance here of the server, you see we have Van and I'll just move him over to here. You'll see that we have him moving around and it actually says that he's moving. Um, these, This data here is being output from the server, not the actual client. So that should... Uh, kick off a few little notes if you guys haven't seen last episode that you should go watch it because now we have players moving around uh, on each other's screens so if I bring Bob into this and I move uh, let's move Bob around here so if I move Bob around you'll see that he's moving around on Van as well um, now what we're going to be doing is if you notice on this one you see Van is at 100 and 100 where we just set them to be and on this one he's actually way over here so if I move over a little bit you'll see that he actually teleports over there and then and then it will update as with the other one. Um, so we're going to be cleaning that up this episode. Uh, one thing I do want to note is this kind of stuff will be handled by the server uh, in the future, the, the actual data retention of it, of where they are. Uh, but for now, we're just going to allow them to log in at different coordinates. So first things first, what we need to do is we actually need to have them to be able to log in at different coordinates. So we're going to alter the login packet a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to include some extra data with this login. Uh, what we're going to include here is we're going to include private int, uh, an x and a y coordinate. Simple as that. And down here, we're going to make some getters for those. So public int get x and return x. And then we'll make a y one. Int get y. Return y. Oops. Return y. Okay, so now we have our getters and setters for this. We actually need to send this data. So in the get data, um, when we send it, what we're going to do here is we're going to append some data similar to what we did uh, last time in the move packet with how we have common delimited strings of where they are. We're going to do the same kind of thing here uh, for now. Uh, so we're just going to put a comma and plus, we'll just say get x plus comma and get y. Okay, so now we have that. We actually need to send the... Uh, the data here and we need to instantiate it so we're going to do that right here int x into y this dot x is equal to x this dot y is equal to y so now when we create this um, this login packet from the client to send it to the server these two data members will be populated now we just need to read the data here and how we're going to do that is we're going to make a um, an array of strings and we're just going to call it uh, data array again uh, and we're going to call the function data and actually we're going to say read data uh, data dot split and we're going to split it on a comma okay so read data if you remember that's going to strip out this first uh, ID value here the zero zero and then it's going to return this string of array or this string right here and then we're going to split on these commas so we, we will get three different parts of the array um, What's going on here? What's going up? Did I spill it? Oh yes, I didn't include an i. There we go. So now instead of saying this dot username is equal to read data, we're going to say this dot username is equal to data array at zero, and then this dot x is equal to data array. Uh, actually, we're going to say this dot x is equal to integer dot parse int data array at one. And this dot y is equal to integer dot parse int at data array at two. So again, this is going to do the same thing as this. It's going to read that data and it's going to put it into a comma delimited, or it's going to put it into an array. So we have this is the zero part, this is the one, and this is the two. And so that's our login packet now. Um, now we're just going to need to change the way that this is handled because when this is received by the client um, we need to say that something else is happening so you notice in the game server that we're throwing another exception here because we're not actually ha we don't actually have this uh, data here so now what we have here is since we have this login packet and remember we have a little um, comment here to say what's going on so this is when a player connects to the server we want to send them our currently connected players so what we're going to do here is we're going to construct that packet. We're going to say p dot uh, x, and actually not in the brackets there. Uh, right here, um, p dot x and p dot y. What that's going to do is it's going to include those 
as uh, parameters here and then it'll send that data across like this. Um, now we need to handle that by the client so that the client knows that something else is different when somebody logs in. So as you'll see we're just setting them at 100 and 100 which is not what we want to do here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this function and actually I kind of want to make a new function for this. So let's do that. Uh, private void handle login packet zero zero login packet okay and we're going to copy all this data from here and paste it into there and what we're going to do here is we're going to say handle login and packet zero zero login packet okay so that's going to uh, send it into this function here and then we can relay it but something else that we need to send is we actually need to send the address the inet address and the port over because um, we're not including those so what we're going to do is we're going to say address and port we'll just send those as parameters as well um, so inet address and int port okay so that should be everything there uh, now what we need to do is we need to actually change these. We don't actually need to do casting on this anymore. Uh, so we can remove that casting here. Because it just kind of looks ugly and we don't really want it. So there's that. And here we're going to do packet.getx and packet.gety. So y. There. So now it'll actually move that player to those coordinates and it'll log them in correctly. Um, lastly, what we want to do is we need to actually change our game. Oops, our game here. Um, in this, when we construct the packet, we're setting. We're not setting anything here actually. Um, so we're actually going to change that here, and we're going to say player dot x player dot y. So now we have this. We're actually going to run it, and because we just want them to appear at 100, 100. So let's run this server here just to verify everything. Um, so yes, I want to run the server. Our name is Van. And you'll note that we are at 100, 100 as usual. And I can move over to approximately 24 and 100, which is where this little jut out should be around here. Um, and we'll run a second instance here. Now, the second instance, you'll note that we will appear at 100, 100 on this screen and on the other screen. However, um, we'll see Van over on this little uh, jut out here. So we'll call you John. And as I said, you see Van over here and John over here, and that is where the locations are. And if I move Van, Van will move accordingly. So everything's good, everything's fine and dandy and working. Um, there is, I don't know if I can simulate it, but there, there's a possibility that you have been getting a concurrent modification exception. Um, and I'll explain that in a future episode. I can't do it this episode because it's quite a long thing to talk about. Um, but that will be in a future episode when we talk about that. Um, so just, just kind of ignore that error for now. If, you, if it does come up, it might, it's not going to come up every time. It's not going to come up half the time. It's just going to be kind of like a random thing. You won't, really, you won't see any reason why, but it is possible to get. And I'll explain why in a future episode. So you guys take care, and this has been Van Zeeben, and I will see you guys next time.